You'll often notice that a narcissist will come along, swoop in, take your identity, take your friends and family, leave you isolated from all forms of support and move on with your dreams, your hobbies and your career. When narcissistic people enter your life, they seem to have a knack to covertly steal your identity. They have a skillful ability to manipulate and to deceive others, robbing other people of their personal identities and borrowing them for themselves. A narcissist will come along and they will mirror you. Now, mirroring is something that many people do on an unconscious level. One person puts their hand in the pocket, the other person puts their hand in the same pocket. Is nothing manipulative manipulative in it. However, when it comes to a narcissist, there is an undertone of manipulation because they will adapt to your likes and your dislikes, your values and your beliefs, your hobbies and your interests, your values, so that they can blur the lines, so that they can turn around and say that you have so much in common because they're literally borrowing everything you like and dislike and selling it to you as though they like and dislike those things too. Once they've mirrored you, so you believe that you can really understand each other, they begin to future fake with you. They use your desires to create that enthusiasm with you so that they can paint a picture of a future with you that will never be. They are going to build this on the understanding of your mutual aspirations together, your mutual dreams together. And once they've got you in that situation, they're going to take these things away from you. Yet every now and again, they will breadcrumb you to give you that little bit of false hope. So not only do they mirror you and borrow your dreams, they start interfering in your hobbies. They can start taking over your hobbies and with their charismatic charm, they start making friends in the same friendship circle as you. While they're doing this, they then begin to devalue you and criticise you and belittle you and mock you and those one shared dreams and hobbies, they begin to chip away at these. Yet they'll be there with all those around you, feigning their concern for you. They will get you to question your abilities, your opinions, your worthiness, and it gets to a point where your voice is removed from your head or is that oppressed that the narcissist voice takes over. You are listening to their voice. Every time you think about doing something, you're full of that self-doubt, questioning whether you're good enough. You might begin to isolate yourself from people through things such as anxiety and depression that being around a narcissist is causing within you. If not, a narcissist will go all out to isolate you from your friends and family so that they can create an environment of dependency on or while they'll be feigning their concern to your friends and family or claiming how you're the toxic one. And then when they've had enough, when they've driven you to a point of absolute despair so they can no longer gain the attention they require from you, they open leave you, they discard you and they continue with your hobbies and your dreams and your aspirations and your friends while they move on to somebody new, leaving you questioning everything about who you are as a person, everything about you, what you've just been through and the things you do and do not enjoy. And this is when you hit rock bottom and you have to build yourself back up. Meanwhile, the narcissist will just continue borrowing the dreams of others to manipulate others to get their needs met by other people. They never find their internal happiness because they're always looking for that external source of happiness, which they've always failed to find because they're never being honest with themselves or with those around them.